Tuesday afternoon, on demand storm tracker forecast time. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd, checking with you about 1.18 p.m. here on your Tuesday afternoon. Take a look at cameras around Montana. There is a little bit of wildfire smoke moving in across the west southwestern valleys, and I think that could worsen before it improves. Air quality has been bumped up into the moderate range for Bozeman, Butte, and West Yellowstone here at 1 p.m. Uh, on your Tuesday, but Dillon still rated good, although I do expect to see that that will likely change for Dillon. So here's the big picture view. We've got this high pressure ridge, which is sitting here. There's a very weak disturbance undercutting it right now. And there's a few isolated showers up here in Northwest Montana, but I'm not expecting a lot of moisture here in the short term for our area. But this much larger storm off the coast is something to watch. But right now with the placement of this ridge, we have what's called a split in the jet stream. So we've got this split flow as it presses up against this ridge. So a little bit of wildfire smoke could move up into Montana, not all of it. So a little bit of haziness is possible, but this upstream storm system could bring some increasing valley rain and higher mountain snow, cool down, a fall-like weather pattern as we get into the back half of the week, into the first half of the weekend. Short term, not much going on. Southwest flow, mostly on the dry side, temperatures above normal. But here comes a cold front Thursday into Friday. And once you get behind that front, this upper level low that's going to be digging in across the Pacific Northwest will have a much better chance of producing some scattered off and on showers and again some higher mountain snow Friday and into Saturday. So Butte, the short term forecast for your Wednesday uh, is 74 degrees, partly cloudy and hazy tonight, mostly cloudy to clear and overnight lows in the upper 30s. Tomorrow for Bozeman, upper 70s are likely, but again tonight, cool down to about 45 degrees.